Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Control, The Foundation. This is episode 26, and last time we completed the warehouse ritual and repaired the third lock for the nail. So now we're in the collapsed department area, which is a, well, I suppose a department from the oldest house that has sunk into the foundation. And presumably we'll find the last lock here. So this looks like a very different area aesthetically than the caves we've been in so far. Shift Account Part 1. Federal Bureau of Control. To whoever finds this, I am Containment Processes Designer Jean Gibbs, and I'm writing this to document the largest building shift to ever occur. Here are the facts. A considerably large section of the containment sector, including the processes and protocols offices, our research facilities, and a fair chunk of the firebreak, has been yanked down to a chasm that reaches far below lobby level, I think. It was a violent shift, and I regret to report several casualties. Injuries were sustained by all, but many of us, myself included, are still mobile. We've set up a base camp and started triaging. There are little supplies. We've explored our surroundings and found caverns of all things. Maybe we're in some kind of cave threshold, like the quarry. Wherever we are, we're not the first. There were some rusty power coilers, old lights, signs, infrastructure. What was this area used for? Why did they seal it off? Why have we never heard of it? And more importantly, how are we going to get out? So I guess the newer bureau staff don't know anything about the foundation. It's fairly secret. Shortcut. Kiev summary. Kiev, AWE 37. A series of reverberating sounds observed in downtown Kiev with no clear point of origin. The event was witnessed by the city's general public. Mental and physical symptoms were reported, including aphasia, sleep paralysis, and excess redacted in the reported individuals. Due to the brief nature of the event, Overseas Bureau agents were not able to respond while it was active. Immediately upon arrival, agents collected audio recordings taken by local witnesses. All Bureau monitoring stations located at global junctions of acoustic amplification were directed to monitor any auditory events of similar pitch, wavelength, and duration in an effort to trace echoes or epicenters. In the following weeks, similar cases were reported from both various amateur sources and Bureau stations in major cities across the globe. The subsequent events diminished in volume and frequency per each occurrence. Event is believed to be generated by planar friction, though this is not confirmed. So not Kiev, but Kiev, Ukraine. Though, that seemed like that must have been a fairly recent AWE, because I think Ordinary was in the 20s, and that was 37, so it would have happened more recently than that. Okay, we got another one of these stations. Send a ranger to my location. Nice to see a director out in the field. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to end up lost in here forever, <laughs> like the last guy. So we've seen this painting before throughout the Bureau. I wonder if there's any significance to that. If the oldest house just generates its own art and places it everywhere. I thought I heard somebody spawn above me. This is a very weird area. Like, none of this seems to be connected to the ground floor. But maybe that's part of the shift. I still have Pierce equipped, which is probably not the best thing for this area. And okay, now 
we have flying enemies, so I should probably take cover. I still wish that the weapon had a flashlight on it of some kind. At least for dark areas like this. Threw a vending machine at him. Okay, where's the sniper? And there's another sniper. It seems like the snipers frequently drop these jukebox tokens. You're uh, really not that useful, are you, Ranger? Since you can't fly. Just hanging out in that corner the whole time. Alright, so I wonder if there's any lore hidden in these 8 billion cubicles. I hope not, because it would be very annoying to find them. I'm just like looking to see if there's a circle when I get close. Maybe just in the ones that have lights on? Oh, of course, he teleported up here. Sounds like there's a control point in this room as well, though. Is there? I don't see one, but I also don't see anywhere to go. That looks like a way to go. Nope, that might just be a light. Or a, another gap into the astral plane. Fox who and did they just respawn behind me? Nope, he was just shooting at the wall for enemies I haven't even seen yet. Anything in the bathroom? Nope. It's a kind of odd-looking phone. I don't know what all those lights are about. So nothing at all down here, huh? I guess we'll just uh, keep going. We did see that lucky Neko, too, but didn't really get anything about it. Why is there just a single man floating here? Oh, there's one up there, too. I guess there's a few of them. Were they still alive down here, then, when the hiss came? It's been surviving down here for years. These crystals don't seem to be active. Oh, there we go. They look more like just like rocks there. Every time I go to... When I use lift on a treasure chest, it's because I'm hitting E instead of F. Thinking that's the interact. Only games could be consistent on that point. And decide what the default interact key should be for all games. There's nothing over here. I mean, someone mentioned that there's like 10 secret areas in this DLC, and I don't know if I found any of them yet. Obviously, there's still areas on the map I haven't been able to reach, so that would be some of them.
Anything tucked away in this locker room? No? Just another very, very limited usefulness shortcut. Give supplement. Recordings of the audio phenomena were uploaded onto the internet shortly after the event. These records circulated rapidly on popular message boards. The communications department utilized this exposure by creating Sky Trumpet hoax videos and posting related theories to spread confusion and draw attention away from the event's paranatural origin. Industrial noise, particularly the sound of metal drilling, was found to be a widely accepted explanation. Theories about the sounds emanating from the Earth itself, known as Seismic Hum, emerged from the public itself and were encouraged by the Bureau to generate further misdirection and eventual public disinterest. Witnesses of the event were monitored discreetly afterwards. Observed symptoms were consistent with redacted deprivation, but subsided after 12 to 15 days. The length of the symptoms directly correlated to the individual's proximity, unsheltered, to the supposed epicenter. One linked, though, accidental, Casualty can be listed. Regarding the effects of planar friction on hearing aids in file 14200-1010. Definitely a less exciting AWE, that one. So many bad chests in this DLC. Just give me like crappy level 4 stuff. Alright, go in here. Yeah, okay, that's the shortcut. Shift account, part 2. Gibbs reporting in. It has been 8 days since the collapse and still no sign of any rescue efforts. The Bureau is either completely unaware of our situation or are incapable of helping us. Or maybe it's intentional. How many times have we seen the Bureau not give two shits about its own hardworking staff when they go missing in this place? How many times did we let it slide thinking, oh, at least it wasn't me? Too many, I'm ashamed to admit. Anyway, there have been some developments. Strange crystals have begun growing through the walls. They seem to block some corridors, but not others. The path to the caves is always left open, but we're not sure why. Luckily, the crystals keep out the astral spike. One's been hounding us for days. John, Nicolay, and Sarah went to try and find a radio, but never came back. We think the spike got them. I think it's hunting us. Doug says spikes only exist in the astral plane, so what the fuck is it doing here? If we get out of here, I'm hiring a lawyer. These are unsuitable working conditions. So this is the evaluation hall. Is it talking about the service weapon? I guess the service weapon is not an altered item, it's an object of power. So that's the altered item. Looks pretty secure. Is this like old school containment? Before they built the Panopticon? No power. Typical. Transit engine. I should hire someone who built smaller machines. Okay, there's a battery slot in there. So I guess we just need three batteries. Okay, these ones seem like they're already powered.
Now, what are those connected to? Like, where is this chute that's just full of power cores? At least they're sort of magnetic. Oh, I want to get in there and see if I can, like, <laughs> see what it's connected to. Sector Lobby C. So am I going to just send this to the Panopticon? Because I assume the door won't open until this thing is out of the way. And that, that means we can't actually do anything with it. Alright, so we got this main room here, and then just the tunnel leading back. So I guess we're almost done with this path. Originally, I thought I just had to cycle the airlock. Oh, please. That's like something I would say. Alright. Off to a good start. There's a grenadier over to the left. Yep, there he is. I can't actually get a sight on him. They seem to only really be weak against their own grenades. Because those do actually do a big chunk of damage. Ironically, their suits are not bomb-proof. Alright. So... Now what? Get up here. Transit access, lobby sector C, evaluation hall. Someday I'll find something worth picking up again. I think that's Blackmore. Be interesting if the director photos down here don't change with the rest of the oldest house. That's a mold elevator. I guess this is a secret because I got a ability point for opening that. New language. For immediate publication, I learned a brand new language. The fish taught me. You probably don't believe me, so I will prove it. Holy lel mieti. Jemel buat es miomen oka quibdo. Kib quido ert ert. Pipo hurum yilon rec ibuit. 1455 Ospirton Club Hun 2222 Quidi we whip Eolen Yum Red Zium Quim Qual 10 
Jibini Rog? C? Please publish this letter, and maybe other fish speakers will get in touch. They'll be able to read my address, even if you can't. Jibini Rog, Larry Humbert. The malevolent crystals that block the bathroom. of Brian's Movie Den with me, the ever-lovable Brian Hinnerman. Today I want to talk about a new film I found at Movie Night. That's night with a K. The Mecca for VHS aficionados in the greater Dallas area. Yeehaw! So this is not a... called Delivery Disaster. Bureau personnel. We open in media res. A mailman drives a truck full of packages down in uh, an endless American neighborhood as a pack of rabid dogs chase behind. Now, these dogs are nothing like my mom's, my stepmom's Corgi Chuck. These were some real nightmare hellhounds. The dogs keep pace with the mail truck, tearing chunks out of the driver's legs and arms. Each package he throws out the door is marked by his bloody handprint. He screams in pain and confusion, and this goes on and on until the movie just abruptly ends. There aren't even any credits, which is a pretty bold choice. Is this film a commentary on how our 9 to 5 jobs are killing us, or how hostile the modern world is to outdated concepts like mailmen? Perhaps it's merely a statement about the futility of purpose and how no task can ever be really done. Or maybe it's just anomalous footage. To interpret it, but for now, let's get to the part you're all waiting for. It's score time! Score I give this film a 4 out of 5 only because the actor frequently broke the fourth wall by looking into the camera and shouting at it, like he was shouting at the audience. A little too on the nose for me, but I did enjoy it, and I recommend you check out other films produced by Blessed Pictures. Bike Hard and Coffee Bullet are the only others I found, but this little art house studio certainly knows how to push the boundaries of Western cinema. I like to think this guy is just cursed, and he keeps finding all these cursed videos. There will be no new episode next week, as I will be visiting my aunt in Delaware for Thanksgiving. Thanks for listening, all you Brian fans, and remember, we all love movie magic, but don't forget about the you magic. Until next time. Oh, come on, Brian, you killed it. It's supposed to be UV magic. Well, that was delightfully awkward. So, this area... Is there like a ceiling panel I can fly out? Because this is marked on the map as an area. So you would think that means that I can take the elevator. But not right now. All right, now where are we? Movie camera supplement. This item first came to the Bureau's attention after a hospitalized mailman from Redacted, Arkansas claimed his injuries had been caused by a movie camera. Further investigation connected the incident to altered item 80, which was being shipped in the mail truck at the time. The package camera was later found in an empty warehouse. The return address led agents to a P.O. box located in the San Fernando Valley, belonging to a company called Blessed Pictures. Whether Blessed Pictures is involved in the creation and dissemination of the item's VHS films is unknown. The following is a list of all known films believed to have been shot by AI-80UE. Shoot First, Die Last, Unreleased, Coffee Bullet, Billy's First Car, Bike Hard, Delivery Disaster, Item was used in the filming of an unreleased western in 1968 on the Italian island of Sardinia. A cast member was killed during an on-set accident stopping production. It is believed that Blessed Pictures bought the camera when equipment from the shoot was sold at auction. A camera that just produces interesting things to film. But I'm wondering, like, he said that he was staring at the camera, so I'm just picturing now, like, this movie camera just floating alongside this mail truck as a bunch of hellhounds chase it.
Anything in here? Nope. Okay. There's a lot of lore in this department. Shift count part three. It's clear no one is coming. We've run out of ideas and supplies. We tried going into the caves to find anything edible, but all we found were noxious gases and endless pits. The crystals only let us go one way, even though we could see the caves branched out. We did find some weird spiky pillar. I only got a glimpse of it before the astral spikes attack. There were a few of them this time. We lost a lot of people. There's only six of us left. We didn't ask for this. We didn't want to come down here. I'm convinced something brought us here. The other Sam going nuts, but it's clear this was no house shift. Shifts slide a bathroom a sector over, or rotate a hallway. They don't drop a full division into some caves. We were brought here, I know it. But for what? Why tear us away from our lives just to torture us? If this is some kind of test or mission, then here's some advice for whoever's running it. Give out clearer instructions next time. I hope these notes are a good read for whatever ranger finds them. Fuck you. Put that in your report. Gibbs. So, perhaps the whole astral bleed into, into reality was something that was happening before the hiss came. And perhaps this was the oldest house reacting to that by dropping an apartment down there to fix it. Hiss got in. Boom. The nail. Pile of smoking rubble. Marshall blew up the nail? What the hell was she thinking? The hiss got in. The foundation is overrun. I was out of time and out of options. I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Or maybe they followed her in and it's her fault. A desperate move. But it's better off in pieces than in enemy hands. Trench wouldn't be thrilled. He always said how vital the nail was. How it was the Bureau's duty to protect it. Bullshit. Those years spent in the director's chair. He always said it was so important that we should never tell anybody it exists. In the end, he valued order over people. The advice of invisible voices over that of old friends. He lost sight of who he was. The board made sure of that. But I did my duty. The hiss can't corrupt a pile of smoking rubble. My last act as head of operations. I'm done. At least I could take those bastards down with me. So then did she just blow herself up with it? <laughs> or are we gonna have to fight Hiss Marshall now? Alright, well here's the last of these doorways. Alright, this is the last one. I kind of feel like there would be more stuff to find in that department than just lore. I can't believe Marshall's brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. <laughs> and she thought I wasn't ready. Did the board have just nothing to say about that? Also, the board only gave us one ability originally, but were they expecting us to be able to fix this without the other one? Because you kind of need that full ability to fix these. So is that the final form of the nail then? It doesn't actually go up to the ceiling. It's just kind of V-shaped on top. There. Easy as pie. Fuck. But that's the last one. I, I fixed it, didn't I? I 
Um, how do I leave when the world is falling apart? Apparently Jesse can do that. <laughs> that ability was more useful than we thought. Astral plane is collapsing. The hell was all that? Things should be better now, not worse. Emily will know. I hope. She says that, but like we don't even know what the nail actually does. We just know it's important. Well, clearly we're not done with the foundation just yet. The pyramid. How embarrassing. That's it? That's just the whole thing. <laughs> Alright, well this should lead us back to Crossroads anyway, so... Talk to Emily. Stranger. What did you do? What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. But it has stopped. The nail is repaired. You're but supposed to be head of research. You need to know these My things. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Or possibly a vessel containing the astral plane. Or both. Either way. Right now, both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. The spatial friction they are generating is incalculable. It's going to destroy both planes. I messed this all up. Maybe Marshall was right to destroy the nail. Maybe I wasn't ready. I should have left it in pieces. No, then the astral plane would still be leaking in. Sometimes there's no right answer, Jesse. We need more information. No. I need to fix this, now. I'll just... I'll figure something out. No, we should really make a plan. The tremors are originating from directly below us, but we don't know what... Perfect. I'll head down and take care of whatever's going on. Just do what you can from here. Jesse, you can't just... I have to, Emily. I'm the director. It's my responsibility. This is on me. I'll just jump down there and retune the astral plane so that it's on the same frequency as reality. Or not on the same frequency as reality. This is reach the bottom of the nail. Oh, there's a hole there. There wasn't a hole here. There is now. Alright, well, down below. I hope I know oh. it was just the top of the nail. How much deeper does the foundation go? Henry Day plus 118. I have changed. Though it's hard to know how or why. I no longer need tools to detect the house's veins, to hear it breathe. I can feel its blood churning beneath my bare feet. I have added my own illustrations to the walls, trying to solve some mystery that the oldest house whispers to me. I have to avoid the id as I do so. They haunt me. I don't blame them. They're just following the pillar's orders. Even poor Adam doesn't seem to recognize me anymore. I've spent a long time contemplating the etchings of the tree and its roots. Did you know this city used to be a forest? I wonder if our oldest house wore a different face back then. 
or if it was always here, a 21st century office building since time immemorial, in a place no of the future. Can it change its skin? Can it wander? I always thought the esoteric world was my father's, not mine. But here, in this sacred place, I finally understand his devotion and his awe. Maybe Ash is still down here as something else. Crystals are growing like crazy here. It's almost like they're trying to stop me. But are very indecisive about it. That's no spike. I tried to get out after the detonation, but the astral spike came out of nowhere. I escaped, but my HRA was damaged. I'd bet a year's salary the board sent it. We never did see eye to eye. They have too much control over Trench, the Bureau, the House. They make themselves part of every important process. Nothing a little C4 can't fix. Two birds. One I mean, I'm pretty sure that the oldest house, at least, kind of belongs to them. But I stopped the hiss. I did it. If Faden did her part, then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Jesse has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same traps. She'll lead her way. So, Director Faden, here's my last lesson. You can't save everybody. Whole bureau needs a reformation. HRA was damaged. The board said it. When Marshall blew up the nail, the board attacked her. I don't fucking like it. Well, better take down the board now. I mean, maybe they need the nail to maintain their influence over reality. Hmm. That's a very red room. Very ominous. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be Marshall right there. Floating in front of that giant crystal. So, you know, maybe we should save that for next time. Okay, yeah, there is a control point here. I thought <laughs> I missed it. There's also... What is that? Is that another one of the radios? This is the director. I need backup at my location. How does it still work? It's like 90% sand. Nice to see a director out in the field. Wow, how the fuck did I get here? Nobody else hears the house. Their ears are too full of lies. We were shown the way inside so we could help. But all we've done is fall victim to the same parasite. I should have seen the web earlier. The strand between Northmore, the pillar, the gun, the id. What hope did we have? Thrown into this conflict beyond our comprehension. I decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels. All right, I guess he's not My still down here then. Spent in the Foundation. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way, but I don't care. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back on the right course, but I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion? I can hardly remember how it felt. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. I wish I could tell him that. 
So, for a moment there, I was going to say that might also be Ash, but no, he went back to the Bureau. So that is, I'd say, pretty definitely Marshall, and we're going to have to fight her. So I wonder if perhaps the struggle here is not between the board and the Hiss, but also between the board and the astral plane itself, or, you know, the nail, that they're just usurpers there. Alright, what do we want to upgrade? I wanted to upgrade Shield Rush last time, but I ended up doing Shield Barrage by accident. Uh, we don't really have anything else, so I guess that is what we will do. Oh, I just reset all my fucking abilities. God damn it. Why is F reset here? <laughs> well, I'm going to have to unlock everything again, but I'll, I'll just do that between episodes. All right, so next time, we'll probably finish the main mission of the Foundation. Though I think there's probably going to be a bit more to do after that, just like there was with the main game. So we might have another episode after that as well. But until then, I've been Shadefire, this is Control, and I have been enjoying the Foundation. So I'm looking forward to doing the rest of it. Take care, everyone. See you next time.